today we are going to be taking a look at some of the top picked Ice Planet mocks. Um, Ice Planet doesn't usually get mocked that often, so these are pretty old and uh, some of them are newer, but let's take a look at these. So this one uses some very nice translucent windshield pieces. And this is just like a tracked rover with these front wheels. Honestly, a pretty good mock, stays true to the color. Um, I can't really tell too much about like the interior on this, but it's a large rover. And here it looks like we got a Ice Planet mech. Now this uses some different colored helmet pieces. And it looks like it doesn't use the old Transneon orange rather than new, but this is a, a Studio 2.0 mock. So that kind of makes sense there. And it looks like he just operates a mech it's all right. Next we got a, looks like a monorail here and it's using the, uh, like the uh, arm that is seen on the ISAT 5 and the rocket and same design here, but it's on a monorail, which gets pulled across and it looks like they got, they got some skis here and some mining equipment. Um, this honestly looks like a pretty good monorail. Lego Space did a lot of different monorails, and this is a good Ice Planet mock monorail. So Now this one definitely lives up to uh, more of Lego standards, I think. Um, having the three-wheeled like uh, vehicle that moves across, it's kind of a almost like a home base, but on wheels. It does have little arms here with these pieces that were not actually made, these robot hands. Um, in the trans neon orange. So this is a online mock-up. Some of the colors aren't uh, actually out there, but yeah, we've got the minifigure down here, which is just a standard Ice Planet minifigure. You can totally do that, but yeah, you can get pretty close to this with uh, the pieces nowadays. I'm not sure if these wheels are in white though. Um, we'll have to look into that. Now, this one. This is a larger version of the ISAT 5. This is a mock-up online as well, not an actual physical build, but you can see here on the torso of this minifigure here, that's a custom piece printed with the Ice Planet logo in the blue. Then we've got, it looks really cool. This windshield piece is from Nexonites, didn't show up in a Ice Planet, and then the rocket's a much larger scale. And then you got the arm. And it still looks like it's using magnet connections, which I'm not sure how well that does for a rocket this big. But yeah, I really like this one. And I think that if LEGO were to do something, I, this would be a really cool set um, with the huge wheels. It's just a larger version of, of the ISAT 5, so that's pretty cool. This is a really small mock, but it is still really effective. It's just a little speeder. Um, it uses more modern pieces that weren't back in the day. So this is how maybe a poly bag would end up nowadays um, because yeah, they didn't have these parts back in 1993, I think it was, but nowadays this is probably how something would end up. And then you've got that printed custom tile there on the chest as well as the new armor piece, which wasn't uh, back in the day. So interesting. Now this kind of reminds me of the deep freeze a little bit, but it's using brick separators in the back there, which is pretty cool. And then I don't see like any like detachable things on the side, but then again, there's only one off photos that I can really see here. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's like the deep freeze 2.0 or something like that. I like how they use that big wind, windscreen piece. It looks like you can fit up to like four minifigures in there, one in the front, three in the back. So that's uh, pretty cool. Here's another online mock-up. This one's really neat. I don't believe these wheels actually exist though. These are like the ISAT 5 wheels, but just a way larger scale. So these I think are just upscaled for this render. And here we've got a Bionicle saw blade. I think that showed up in G2 Bionicle. It might've happened before that too, but I think it was primarily used in like G2 Bionicle as a saw blade arm here. It, I don't believe it came in the Trans Neon Orange unless it came in an Exonite set. Um, then we got some like a ray up here or a satellite of some sorts. I'm sure there's an interior, there's the cockpit, and then you got this nice clawing arm. Um, this one is overall done really well, and I can see this being utilized by the Ice Planet team for quite a few projects because this looks pretty useful. Then we've got um, a starship, one that would fly around. Most of the Ice Planet stuff are taken on ground, but this would probably be used for quick transportation. Looks like we got some satellite dishes, some ray cannons. Um, this one's overall pretty simple. Looks like it probably can open up in the back for some storage. 
as well as a small cockpit. It seems all right, and I think the satellite in the back can probably detach for some la land communications. And now this looks like a base. This is really interesting because I know that these pieces are from Nexonites. And so this doesn't really stick to the true color scheme. You can see a lot of gray and uh, brown in here, but it still works. It's still got the blue. It's still got the white, which is in snow, not necessarily in the build. But it looks like you got two like towers here. So this is more of a home base. Uh, this one is a little bit of a stretch for Ice Planet, but they still uh, have those color schemes. Maybe if an this could be an old rugged outpost, maybe an abandoned outpost 20 years later that they return to. Now this one is, is insane. I saw this and I was like, this is crazy. They built some tracks on here in the front. It looks like it has like a twist to it with a giant snow plow. There's some smaller vehicles here. You can see the entire crew. This is like a, if they landed on an the planet and they needed to clear out some stuff and just have a portable base for the time being you can see some pods up here and there's just oh man there's so much in this mock there's the rockets they've got the rockets with the probes on them ready to be deployed it's got an, a large crane here it's just it's absolutely insane i would love to see this thing in person all right this is for like the black tron cruiser um they basically did it in that design, or the Blacktron Invader probably more specifically, because the Invader was the early model, the uh, Cruiser was the remake, so this is probably based off of the Invader in just Ice Planet colors. You can see the trans neon orange parts there, and yeah, this one is in real person, so all these parts do exist. I also happen to notice some M-Tron wheels in the back, so this guy is a space collector. Alright, now we've got another base here. This one's definitely more true to the ice planet colors and i can see this one a lot um they use the white the blue the trans neon orange got this base satellite dish up here sky exploring here and it looks like a garage with a small vehicle with a plow like this one while there's not much change in colors or contrasting colors it does stay true to ice planet and it's pretty good but you can tell it's a mock and not something lego would specifically make now this is a great set in so many ways. Like if Lego were to do this, that would be insane. We've got two rockets in the back here rather than carrying one. Then we've got the smaller little, uh, I guess, sled vehicle here. And then we got the mech. Like this is perfect. You've got the mech, you've got the main transport, and then you've got the smaller side vehicle. Like this works great together. Like back, of course, back in the day, they wouldn't do a combination of sets like this. They would release each of them individually, which is what Lego Space did back in the day. That's why you see so many smaller sets. But here, if they did this in a combination, you'd get a perfect play set here with the mech, the rover, and the sled, the smaller sled. And I believe that's the last one here on the list. So these were some of my hand-picked uh, Ice Planet mocks that I really liked. And I don't build in this style because they don't have the right colors, but I can see myself building some some something similar to this in the near future if i get enough of the right parts i really love ice planet and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, got some inspiration from seeing these custom builds see you guys next time